Hello, welcome to our uh, fogging and training video. I'm Ron Sandoval with Disinfect Plus. Thank you for your continued support. Today we're going to uh, learn about our product, Vital Oxide, proper PPE, current updated EPA regulation application recommendations, and uh, overall status of disinfectants. We're also going to learn about the, the use of fogging equipment, both electrostatic and wet, uh, cold fogging, and uh, show you exactly the equipment that you're going to be using today. So, let's jump right in it. Vital Oxide. Vital Oxide is one of the 490 endless disinfectants registered by the EPA. It is a category four on the list of safest product, one being uh, more on the bleach and hydrogen peroxide side, and uh, and four being the safest for use in public areas. Vital oxide is more than just an endless disinfectant. It removes malodors. It uh, removes allergens. It uh, can control mold and there's actually a specification written by the EPA, authorized by the EPA for use in HVAC units. You can find out more information about vital oxide at vitaloxide.com. Also at the end of the video you'll, uh, you'll get my direct phone line and email address for any questions. If, you're, if your team is on a job and they have a question they can call me. We answer the phone six days a week, Monday through Saturday, from 6 to 6 uh, Pacific Time. Currently, the product uh, comes in uh, 1 gallons, 5 gallons, 55. Here we have uh, a daily use uh, spray bottle. It does require a secondary label, which I will email to you, and you can just tape it on just like I did this. So any spray bottle. Uh, you can use a vital oxide, but it does have to have this secondary label uh, per EPA requirements. PPE for vital oxide listed on their SDS is none. Vital oxide doesn't require any PPE. However, in our days that we're living today with COVID-19, we have to be as safe as possible. So we do require eye, eye protection some sort of face protection, gloves, and when we're uh, servicing, we use uh, uh, foot, uh, shoe covers. Um, it's been very difficult to attain um, Tyvek type suits, so our team uses uh, medical scrubs, which are easily washed and sanitized, and that's why I'm showing you that today. In our full service, we like to leave um, something behind that says that the facility was disinfected. Uh, we can uh, make these for your company or your facility, generic, at your request. Okay, let's move on to the next segment. Okay, the equipment. The equipment you're receiving today is the C100. This is a, a, a 4 liter capacity uh, cold fogger, two stage motor. It has five micron settings which we'll demonstrate here shortly. And you adjust them by the notches here on the top of the black nozzle and you you uh, line them up with the the gray stem here. Okay? We like to be uh, usually about a third notch. That's plenty. That's about 45 microns. When we're applying product um, the idea is to be heavier than, than the air. Uh, the CDC recognizes that the COVID-19 virus is about 5 microns in length. And shooting at 45 or 50 microns obviously is heavier. And when you're shooting every cubic foot of the building, which is required now since we, the CDC recognizes that the COVID-19 virus is aerosol, so it's not just uh, spraying your equipment and furniture, your flooring, 
on every cubic foot of the room. Left to right, right to left, east to west, whichever is most comfortable. But you want to fog ceiling, letting it mist down to the floor, which we will we will talk about. The CL11 is very easy to use. On off switch, 110 plug comes with a 20, 20 foot plug. Your fill is here. Simply pour your product into the cap. Since it's all plastic, be careful not to cross thread. This design sometimes this this plug tends to get loose sometimes. So if you turn your machine on, it doesn't turn on, and then it's plugged in. Don't panic. Just push that and surprise. Okay. It's a very high quality unit. It has it comes with a shoulder strap uh, for convenience and comfort. And again, it's very very easy to use. The smaller unit, uh, the D, uh, D, uh, DC20, um, we call it the big pig and little pig because <laughs> of the, the front snout. Same thing, uh, dual, uh, dual motors. You'll get uh, at the second motor at full capacity, you can shoot 12 feet out or into the air at a miss range from 5 microns to 50 microns. With this machine, 5 microns to 50 microns, 17 feet with the second motor. Okay, a lot lighter, about a half gallon capacity. We, uh, we're going to show you right now this thing in action. So uh, with the first motor, you can kind of get a visual. Um, at the uh, third tab here. Second motor. And I don't know how well the video shows, but it's a very fine mist. Vital oxide is uh, no, no uh, added uh, odor. It uh, will leave a slight um, chlorinated type smell. Uh, you can uh, get back into the the area that you're spraying within 30 minutes or less depending on ventilation. You don't have to turn off the HVAC unit. You can work with it right right while it's on. Okay? You can spray onto all soft surfaces, furniture, flooring, um, drapes, and uh, all your all your equipment. It's a non-corrosive product. So any, anywhere that, uh, that it needs to be uh, disinfected, uh, you can spray right onto it. Over electronic equipment, if you're in an office, uh, we, we don't like to spray at the, uh, you know, the computers or electronic equipment. We like to spray over and let it mist down onto it. And we have the video that's going to show you what we're talking about uh, shortly. Okay? So the equipment. All right. Um, we're going to... Uh, we're going to uh, stop and uh, and then set up and show you uh, electrostatic equipment. This is a cold fogger. Both of these two units are cold foggers. They're built for productivity. Uh, electrostatic equipment has a range of about three, three and a half feet. Uh, these set up to 17 feet. Currently, the EPA uh, for vital oxide requires a dwell time of five minutes. So you're putting out a pretty substantial amount of, of product onto uh, where you're fogging. Uh, so this uh, makes for a much more suitable and uh, compliant application. Okay, uh, when uh, this, when when uh, we uh, started four months ago, uh, you know, back in March, the uh, the EPA uh, mandated a 10-minute dwell time for all uh, endless disinfectants. Since then. All of us are in there testing, showing our wares, trying to get that final approval that we actually kill uh, COVID-19, and that should be coming up very close. Getting the uh, five-minute mark was a huge win for vital oxide. All right. Okay, we're going to stop there, and I'm going to set up with an electrostatic fogger. Be right back. Uh, we're going to demonstrate electrostatic fogger. Uh, this one happens to be a Ryobi, uh, readily available. Some of the uh, commercial brands... Uh, that you've seen online are uh, are very very expensive, 
and they're uh, not uh, not readily available. This one uh, you can buy uh, direct on on Home Depot. It uh, it requires just a uh, standard uh, a battery, and uh, it it uh, has a one gallon backpack to go with it, and uh, it has the electrostatic function. About electrostatic. Electrostatic is a, a fine piece of equipment. The idea is to spray what you're, what you're spraying and uh, the electrostatic charge uh, surrounds the object that you're spraying. If you're spraying a chair, it's, it's in, uh, theoretically the molecules are, 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 are electrostatic charge and they're going to surround the area that you're spraying. You know, it sounds like a really good idea. However, with the current recommendations of dwell times being uh, upwards of five minutes um, and the productivity uh, of, uh, that this produces, uh, we don't, uh, in our service section of Disinfect Plus, we, we, uh, we use cold foggers. You saw in the last demonstration the, uh, the, uh, the force that you, uh, you, can, you can produce with a cold fogger. The electrostatic machine that's it and you can see it's only shooting about three feet all right that's our uh, series on electrostatic fogging and we're going to move on to the next series now okay our next segment is uh, going to be a uh, three or four minutes of uh, some live jobs some live video that we shot I'm going to be doing a voiceover uh, while the uh, while you're enjoying uh, watching uh, the video, it shows application in different settings and uh, actually sees the equi shows the equipment uh, working. All right. So again, after that, uh, we'll, we'll be done with the training. Uh, feel free to email or call me at any time uh, for any kind of technical support you might need. We could also uh, can uh, do a, a virtual the trainings uh, live we could actually be on site also so I thank you again for your support and we look forward to hearing from you soon Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the short video. It shows different techniques, application, um, general use for your foggers. Remember, you has a two-stage motor, 
you can adjust. We like to be about the third tab, which you'll see um, on the uh, nozzle. I uh, want to remind you, uh, uh, five minute dwell time, you want to try to keep your surfaces damp for at least five minutes. Not so much with soft surfaces, carpet and furniture, you're not going to be able to do that. And again, you're sanitizing soft surfaces, you're disinfecting hard surfaces, same product. Okay, remember we want to shoot every cubic foot. You want to shoot into the ceiling and let it mist down to the ground. It's very important since we've, uh, as, uh, CDC has recognized that uh, the coronavirus, COVID-19, is aerosol. Uh, cubic feet, expect about 3,000 square feet out of a gallon of product, shooting at about 45 to 50 microns, which is about the third setting on your, on your unit. Um, touch points, you want to go ahead and make yourself a, a, a small uh, ready-to-use uh, product um, and hit your touch points several times a day. Yeah, we recommend just spraying them and uh, not, not wiping them, let them dry. Okay, five to one cut for soft surfaces. If you have a large area of carpet, uh, you can uh, uh, cut the product uh, five to one, five parts uh, water to one part vital oxide, and nine to one for general use uh, uh, heavy duty sanitizer, like a Lysol, if you will. You can make a nine parts water to one part vital oxide and have that. Other than that, it's ready to use for disinfecting. Uh, your floors uh, might get sticky. Um, let let them, you know, let them sit, let them dry before you mop them up. Uh, same thing with glass and mirrors. Uh, let them let them uh, dry completely before you decide to clean them. Uh, we're talking about now um, uh, cleaning uh, uh, electronics. We talked about spraying over the electronic, not at the electronic. But now we do uh, in the case of computers. Um, we want to clean the keyboards and the, and the screen and so forth like that. Um, take a, a, a microfiber towel, spray onto the towel, and we want to do a wipe down three times. We want to do it three times. Since we can't really allow a dwell time on electrics, uh, electronic part, uh, pieces, we want to wipe them down three times. Best to use a throwaway, uh, you know, towel, uh, you know, a, a paper towel or a commercial towel. Uh, so we don't get cross-contamination. So if you went from one station to another station using the same towel, there is a, a chance that we can get some cross-contamination. Three times spray into your towel or your paper towel, wipe down three times, and you're good to go. We hope you enjoyed this training as we um, become more advanced uh, working with uh, each individual uh, company. We will produce uh, specific videos for each of you. We thank you for everything you guys do. Stay safe. My number is going to be uh, on the next uh, segment of this video. An email, phone number, call me anytime. Thank you again. Speak to you soon.